My inquiry question was to find out which cognitively challenging activity was most challenging for the teenage brain, and I hypothesized that playing a musical instrument would challenge the brain most, as it is known to improve verbal literacy and numeracy skills. I had eight participants in my study, including me, and those participants came into the lab and each one of them conducted four to six activities for a total of one hour. And what came out was raw brain waves, and those brain waves, I had to create triggers, which were clean data points, and insert them into a software called EEG Lab. And that EEG Lab gave me qualitative data, which is the brain maps, and the quantitative data, which is the voltage indices. And with the voltage indices, I created graphs and charts which proved my hypothesis. So these sort of experiments are important because there's a lot that we don't know about the human brain, and there's a lot that we don't know about the developing human brain. If we think about kind of children grow into adolescents, grow into adults, the brain never stops developing. So adolescence is a period of huge growth where people's brains are starting to form different connections, a real sense of self. As scientists, I feel like we need to listen to research questions and really take seriously the research questions coming from outside of the university. So I want to listen to younger people, older people, patient populations, groups of people that aren't represented in a typical university class or in academia writ large. Especially young people have inherently fascinating ideas about science and about the world and about themselves.